Hello everyone. Today we're going to practice the rhythm of our poem Tiger Tiger by looking at some of the rhythm musical notes that we've um, already learnt in our music lessons with Beckett. Now we need to start by working out the rhythmic metre of our poem. The rhythmic metre is a pattern created by stressing certain syllables of each word and this usually comes naturally as soon as you start saying the poem. So I'm going to start by underlining some of the syllables that I naturally make a little bit stronger. So I'm going to say tiger tiger burning bright in the forests of the night what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry so that comes fairly naturally uh, have a go at saying the poem with me now and stress the strong syllables with me so we're going to say tiger tiger burning bright in the forests of the night, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Now we're going to see what the rhythm looks like in musical notes. We'll start by recapping some of the rhythms we already know. So hopefully you can remember our crotchets. So these are our one beat notes. To help us remember those, we said the word walk. Walk, 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 walk. Let's try clapping together. Walk, 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 walk. And our minims. I wonder if you can remember how many counts these are each. Yeah, these are our two beat notes. One, two, one, two. And to help us remember those, we said the word stride. Stride stride let's try clapping together here we go stride stride well done now we can use the crotchets and minims to help us create the rhythm of our poem so we have here six crotchets and one minim so if we clap that together if we say say the words walk and stride to help us remember we have walk 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 stride and try clapping that together and saying it here we go walk 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 stride well done okay now if we substitute those words for the words of our poem let's take the first line of our poem so we say together tiger tiger burning bright Okay, now we notice that some of the notes are going to be stronger than others. So I'm going to show you a little mark called an accent. So it means those we're going to clap a little bit stronger to show where the strong syllables are. So we'll say together, tiger, tiger, burning bright. So now let's try the words in the rhythm for the whole of the first verse. So here we have, let's do it together. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Maybe you could try making a drum to beat out the rhythm. You could use some old tin cans or um, maybe an upside down saucepan with a spoon. I've got a drum here, so let's see what it might sound like. Here we go. Tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Now, if we wanted to speed up the pace of the poem a bit, we could use shorter note values to make it quicker. So here we've got quavers. Remember the quavers? These are our half beat notes. And to help us remember them, we clapped running, running. Okay, let's clap together. Ready? Running, running. Okay, now we're going to use some of these quavers with crotchets to make the same rhythm, but quicker. Let's see if we can clap this one together. So we have running, 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 walk. Let's try again. Running, 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 walk. And if we put the words to it, we have tiger, tiger, burning bright and see how it's increased the speed of the poem. So we could try the poem all the way through, this time substituting crotchets, quavers. Here we go. One, two, three, 
far. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? See how it makes it a little bit more exciting with the drum. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Now we've got one more thing to show you. So if you'd like to give the poem a completely different feel, we can mix up our crotchets and minims a little bit differently. We can also make use of our three beat note. Do you remember this one? It's our dotted minim and we say yawn for that one. So let's have a look at this one, see what it sounds like. We've got minim, crotchet, minim, crotchet, minim, crotchet, dotted minim. Sounds like this. Stride, walk, stride, walk, stride, walk, yawn. Okay, let's try that together. Here we go. Stride, walk, stride, walk, stride, walk, yawn. So now if we add the words of our poem, let's see what it sounds like. We have Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. So see if you can experiment with some different rhythms for the words of Tiger, tiger. Maybe you could try a different rhythm for each verse or you could experiment by making your voice louder and softer for different parts of the poem. Uh, if you've got some musical instrument at home, why not have a go at playing, uh, playing some of the rhythms or making some of your own rhythms up? You could even experiment with different pictures to create a song of the poem. That would be really nice to see. Have a go. Enjoy it.